Hello everyone, this is Joseph here uh, for Zenny62. Um, as I mentioned, I was going to even give you some updates with regards to the coronavirus as uh, news happens. And I'm sure by the time you even look at this video, there will be more information. Everything's changing minute by minute. Uh, one of the things I wanted to talk about was the test kit for coronavirus. What's puzzling and upsetting to me is that we have a current administration, the Trump administration, who's not only in complete denial about the crisis, but the handling of it is based on their political inclinations. You know, it's all about winning the next election. Who cares about what facts are out there? Um, South Korea has been a leader with testing. Um, what South Korea has been reporting is that cases have been going down with the actual coronavirus and mainly has to do with a government taking a stance of not only creating drive-by test centers, but everybody self-quarantined. Um, the government gave them additional information as, as rapidly as it came out. They're taking the advice from the World Health, Health Agencies, which this current administration uh, refuses to do. Um, like I said, I have no problems with you being Republican, Democrat, Independent, Greenpeace. That doesn't matter to me. What matters to me is ignorance. When you have this current administration that doesn't believe in health science, that doesn't believe in science, but believes in the almighty dollar, that's going to be a downfall for any government, any political aspirations. When all you care about is your own personal needs, that will come to fruition. Um, so what South Korea and the World Health Organizations have stated is that our current CDC refuse the test kits or the standard of the test kits to test coronavirus. And that's what the world has been using. The CDC, for whatever reason, wanted to make their own. But while they made their own test kits, it was inadequate. There's not enough to go around. And here we are. Here we are in a position where there's not enough test kits to take to test people of the United States. One of the comments that South Korea had made is it didn't matter how much the test kits cost. What was mattered to them is that their citizens are healthy, thriving, and getting tested because their thought process was in the long term. It's going to cost them a lot more money not having their people at work. It's not going to, it's going to cost them more money to facilitate all of these possible pandemic crisis within the country. So they're trying to nip this in the bud. They take in the stance that it's, it's, it's a small cost to pay to have the government pay for the test kits. And all we're hearing from a Trump administration, oh, your insurance might pay for it. It may not, this and that. Step in, do the job. If you care about the citizens of the United States, take charge, do the right thing. Listen to the World Health Organizations that are telling you that we need to get on this right away. We are far behind the rest of the world. And this is supposed to be the best country in the world, but we have an administration that refuses to do anything for its people and does not believe in health science. Another thing that came out of this whole thing uh, recently today is that additional four deaths have occurred here in the LA County. Um, Many more cases, as you know, uh, Zenny had a video a little earlier today with additional cases out in Fayetteville, Atlanta. So this is worldwide, this is countrywide, from East Coast to West Coast and the Midwest. We're suffering horribly here. The good news, recently on uh, CNN, we there was a lady who was uh, infected in Seattle, a 37-year-old woman, who actually lived through the virus. Um, she said within three days of exposure, she had a fever. Um, the best thing you could do, like she said, was keep 
clean as much as possible and not to panic and i understand why she said that um i guess sometimes when you're in panic mode you miss a few steps you know you you it's better to be calm in the situation. I know it's hard to say rather than, than to do, but let's keep that in mind. Um, also, I did uh, report, I believe, or I, I'm sorry, I texted uh, some friends that the NBA had suspended the season. Uh, now the NCAA suspending March Madness. Um, Disneyland here in the uh, Southern California area uh, will stop. Uh, cease operations that say March 14th. So tonight and tomorrow will be the last days that um, Disneyland will be open. And so, excuse me for uh, trying to hold this up here. And um, so, what begs the question was what's going to happen with the NFL draft in Vegas? CinemaCon had just been canceled in Vegas, which up to a few days ago, Caesar's uh, Palace, where Cinema Con is usually held, um, has sent out statements saying that it was still on. So today it was announced that Cinema Con, which is a huge uh, distribution platform worldwide, where you have people from all over the world coming to Las Vegas to view what's new, not only in the uh, movie industry, but also in the movie entertainment industry, such as big uh, movie theater houses like AMC or Edwards or things of that nature. That has been completely canceled. Again, the NFL draft is in April, mid-April. So I suspect that that eventually will be canceled as well. Uh, here locally in Los Angeles, we've had the uh, Dodger Stadium going under a $100 million renovation. Uh basically adding things to the stadium because we had uh, planned to host the uh, next All-Star game here at Dodger Stadium. So it begs the question whether or not even the Major League Baseball will start its season, it possibly delay it till summertime. And again, what will happen uh, with the All-Star game and uh, the season in general. So we have Disneyland closing. We have Disney World who's gonna follow suit and close. We have every major amusement park that's going to close possibly this weekend. And we have the NCAA, NCAA um, stopping March Madness. It's not going to continue on. Uh, they will cease uh, their operations. And so I think at this point, the best thing for everybody to do, as we said the last time, is continue uh, keeping uh, clean as much as possible. Um, wash your hands. Uh, one thing that I wanted to point out is that I know that one of the options we talked about here on Zenny 62 is uh, using witch hazel. You can't find any hand uh, sanitizer. What I found out through the CDC is that any solution for hand sanitizer, 60% has to be alcohol. So maybe kind of use that as, as your guidance in terms of trying to find anything that you can use on your hands and make sure it has a higher content of alcohol. I believe witch hazel has 14%. Uh, percent. So do what you can. Uh, something is better than nothing. So if you're left to just use witch hazel, that's better than nothing. Uh, so keep it here on Zenny62. Any more information, we'll continue to post it up here. And uh, as we stated a couple of live uh, broadcasts with Zenny, uh, say your prayers and keep everybody in your thoughts. Till then, uh, we'll see you soon.